Hello, this is Maris from Aneo, and as part of our crew tips and tricks series, I want to show you how to save a volume analysis to a feature, manipulate these values with relations to create parameters, and use these parameters to drive geometry. Let's start with saving the volume analysis to a feature. So if I go and create a volume analysis as a default, it will do that for the entire model. I can go and remove that and query select to get to my internal volume. I can go and save that to a feature, so make feature and we'll give it a name and I will call this volume. This will save the volume to the model tree. I can at any stage go to the feature, look at the information for that feature and it will open up in my browser and show me the value of my analysis. Next I will go and use this information in a relation to create a parameter that will show the value of my analysis feature. So I will give it a name of volume and I will go and tell it to use the parameter and I will say of a specific feature, I will go and select the volume feature, it will show me the volume value and I will say insert that, insert selected into my relation window. If I go and verify that, you will immediately see that at the bottom it will show the value at the bottom, I can go and have a look at this value. So this will be in cube millimeters. I want to change this to liters. So I could simply go and say, let's say divide that by a thousand. Verify that. And that will show me the value. So that looks like 100 milliliters. There's some decimal places that I don't want. So what I can do is use the floor function. So if I type in floor before the whole string, put all of that in brackets. And I then go and verify that again. You will see that it's now gone and rounded the value down. I could also say, well, I don't need all those decimal places. I just need this to be a simple string. I can go to the beginning of the relation again. And I can add the command ITOS, which is converting it from an integer to a string. And I'll just put the brackets at the front and the back as well. And if I go and verify that, you will see that it will now only show the value of a thousand and I could also go and say I want to add additional text to show that it's millimeters I will go and use the plus and specify the text milliliter, ml for milliliters and if I verify that you will see that that has now been added to the end of my line the next step is to go and use this information to drive geometry so I will go and create a new extrude feature on my sketching plane and define it as variable text. So I will align it to the datum plane to make sure it always stays attached to that. And I can now go and select my parameter that I've just created in my component. And I will use that parameter, make sure, set my justification for my text. So I've got full control over that. And I can go and just finish off the positioning, change the size. So you've got full control over the text. And if I say complete, we'll get a preview and I will use the new option in Q4 where you can go and define the depth to select it with an offset value. So if we go and expand that, there's the new option. I will select the offset, select the surface and give it a new value. What I can then also do with the second option is also use the two selected option. I will select the inside surface to make sure it only grades it for the around the thickness of the bottle. And if I complete that feature, you will see that we now have that volume as text linked to the model. So if we go and make a change to that, so let's say we want to change the height of that, change the geometry. If I drag that down and I go and regenerate, you will see that the text will automatically update. So just let's do that once again, change it to a different value. If I drag that up and regenerate, you will see that that will update to show the new value. That concludes our tips and tricks session for today. Thank you for watching.